Oh my god, guys, it's been a minute. I was literally like, do I remember how to talk? No, but we are back. Also, I changed my room around because I just missed this viewpoint of the mess here. But like, this is such a better filming situation. Um, so we are back, baby. Also, this is my first ever Amazon haul. I pretty much never order clothes from them, only if I need like costumey things. Um, so my first foray into Amazon shopping, I'm pretty sure everything in this pile is from like a different brand or vendor. Um, so this was like me figuring out my sizes in different places. The good thing about Amazon is like, it's all in one. So if you did just want one shirt from this person and one skirt from that one, you could just get it all in one. And also I just keep fake signing up for Prime and getting that free shipping and then canceling it. So there are ways to keep it inexpensive. So although the title does say Amazon haul because I want those clicks, um, I do have a handful of things from Shein and Torrid that I got over the holidays that I figured I would show you as well. And we got a Betty. All right, so we'll just jump in with my favorite item. This is from Shein. Um, this is gonna be my go-to top. It already has been. So it is mesh with velvet burnout black flowers here. This is just so cute. I feel like I don't have enough going out tops. Um, and I actually went, went out. I actually went to a bar with 21 year olds wearing this. So I felt like I'm actually doing stuff. Lantern sleeve, which I love. It's a little short, so. You know me, I'm gonna wear it with a skirt. I have pants. I don't really love how I look in, love how I look in pants. Yeah, I don't. Um, so you can wear this with high-waisted jeans. You can wear this with black trousers. I think that will be a really good mix. I just can't find mine. Um, my living space is in a state of disarray. There is literally a vacuum just inches from me. There's so much stuff in this room, so <laughs> I can't find my pants. Um, but this with a black little skirt, so cute, and I think it would look good with the black pants too. Gathers right here on the boobs, like a little sweetheart neck. It just looks so good. Um, also, really love this color scheme. The back is also gonna be see-through, so plan ahead, um, but I just think this is so cute. Shein does have something very similar to this in more of like a pink color, so I have that in my cart right now for like Valentine's Day, but it's not so like Valentine's Day that you can't wear it outside of February, so I might bite the bullet on that one just because the body of this is just too good. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but very short, so I wouldn't wear it outside of the pants, so this is always gonna be like a tuck in high waist bottom kind of situation, but this is my new favorite top. Okay, now we're on Amazon, but I will keep going back and forth. So these are those viral tights slash leggings. So they are leggings made to look like tights and they're fleece lined. I don't think I've ever had fleece lined tights. And before I bought these, I was like, oh, I don't need these. It's never really that cold over here. And now it is that cold over here. I've worn these probably like six times already and I really, really like how they look. They're supposed to look like um, a sheer tight over like skin and they have these in like maroon, blue, green, but I went for the classic black. I was a little nervous with the reviews I saw on Amazon. Thank God Amazon is like so review heavy. Um, just cause like some people said like where it gathers kind of on your ankle, it's gonna like, bunch up, like there's too much material. I did not have that problem at all. This truly looked like tights on me and it has a fantastic waistband, so it's not going anywhere. The only thing I didn't love, um, I don't know if you could see, this is the back. There's like this U-shaped seam. I think it's supposed to hug your butt. It sits a little too low on me and no matter how I would zhuzh it, it wasn't hitting right under the butt. Um, so you could feel that seam. So I didn't love that. Maybe sizing up would be my best option. Um, these I got in the XL slash XXL. They kind of do it by like two sizes and then you jump up. Um, I felt the fit was great other than this U seam. I do have to point out though, <laughs> I've already ripped these. And you know what? I don't know if it's the construction or if it's drunken night out Shannon at play here. I did take my cousin out for her 21st birthday. I had a lot more fun than the young girls did. So like 
this very well could be from that. Um, so even though these did rip, this would not deter me from buying a second pair. Actually, I should get a second pair because these are ripped. Um, but like, it's not like I'm like, oh, the quality's trash, you know? I would definitely get a second pair. Just because I was reaching for these so much during the holidays, I think they completed every outfit. I'm very much a skirts, dresses, tights girly in the winter. And I do have a lot of sheer tights, but yeah, those do rip after like two wears. So having like fake ones, and they're keeping me warm, even better. Also, these are like 20 bucks a pop. So even if it does rip after six wears, I think I got my money's worth. So I will be repurchasing. These do live up to the hype. Getting back off Amazon, this is from Torrid. I had like $30 worth of rewards between my birthday and just clicking those emails every day. I had $30 of basically free money to spend at Torrid. And this always happens. Whenever I have a gift card or something, nothing on their website jumps out at me. Absolutely nothing. I was even like, oh, I can get a bunch of basics. But I'm like, I already have like four black t-shirts from Torrid. I stocked up during that $10 sale. So I'm like, there's nothing I want or even need, but it's free money. So I have to get something. And I am patiently waiting for them to restock their no shoelace sneakers. Those are God tier. Um, so I went for this lace top and you know me, I love a lace top. Also, I have this exact top in black. It's one of my most worn items and I've had my eye on the red one for a while and you know what, it was just time. So this ended up being free. So lace top, um, this one isn't like stretchy lace material. This is truly like doily kind of fabric. So there isn't gonna be a lot of give, but I do think I got this in a one. I think the one has the perfect amount of room in it. So it is on body enough to go into a skirt nicely, but you can also wear this out, um, untucked <laughs> with jeans or, you know, black pants if you wanted to. And I feel like it's long enough where you're not gonna be like tugging at it all night. So I think it's a great length for however you want to wear it. It does have it's a mock neck and a true mock neck. Like it's on the neck, which I really like. It does have these. Um, I don't know if you can see, you can see my bad manicure. Um, doing this little rubber band hair tie on one of these is very difficult, but I usually, I put this on backwards just over my head, button these and then shift it around, put my arms in, but it does give that nice on neck fit. Um, so like I said, I have the black one. I wear it all the time. So it's nice to have the red one. And I think this is going to be perfect for Valentine's Day. And again, it's not so in your face. I can only wear this February 14th. Um, you can wear this all year long, but it is, I think, the perfect Valentine's Day top. Back on Amazon. <laughs> Maybe I should have organized this, but I kind of like jumping back and forth. If you've watched my channel for the past two years, you know I'm just on the hunt for a black skirt with a little slit on the thigh. Um, I saw someone on Instagram wearing one. And I was like, that's it. That's what I want. Used her links. And you know what? I don't think it's it. But I really like how this looks and fits. So um, this is also from Amazon. None of these have like tags on them. You know, they're all coming from like wholesalers overseas. Um, so I'll leave a like look back at my order and leave that in the comments, not comments, the description box. Um, but I'm pretty sure this was in an XL, maybe an XXL. It is a little annoying on the Amazon shops I've found so far, like getting a 1X or a size 16. And that's not really happening. It's all like XL, XXL, XXXL. And it's like, uh, just give me a number size or something. So yeah, this is a basic black mini skirt. Actually, I'm holding it sideways. It zips on the side to give you where is the slit? Give you a little slit, little thigh action here. And this isn't anything crazy. This is only three inches. So you're not gonna be flopping around, flashing everyone. Um, so it wasn't the like look I was going for, but it is cute. Like I could definitely see myself reaching for this a ton. It is a little thin, but I'm pretty sure I only paid like $11 for this. So I'm like, that adds up. Um, it fit really well. I felt really good in it. I didn't feel like I was like, my butt was out or anything. Definitely not gonna wear this to work, but like for a night out, my two a year, this is a good option. Back to Shein. <laughs> um, this was so cute and I intended on doing this black burnout dress. Wearing this as a dress, I'm putting a sweater on over it for that look of like maxi skirt and a sweater. Um, but I don't think this is gonna be 
that girl. Also, it looks so see-through, but when I had it on, it didn't. So I don't know. It does have two layers of mesh, so it's not completely see-through, but it's gonna be a little see-through. Um, I think this is gorgeous. I could not stop looking at myself in the mirror. It's a full maxi with more burnout velvet on here. So cute. Spaghetti strap though. Mm. So this has some pros and cons. Once I put this on, I was like, oh, it's giving me like a little bit of a waist here. Like it's coming in. Um, but then I did notice it was really clinging to the stomach. Like I was like, mm, looking like four months here. I don't even know a straight man, so don't get things twisted. But I'm like, oh, this is clinging. So even if I did want to do this pop on a sweater, put a little belt in the middle, it would have been like, really calling attention to the cling. Um, most maxi dresses just go like A-line a little bit and, you know, fall off me better. Um, so not gonna do that whole look unless I lose like 30 pounds, you know. Um, but I could not stop looking at myself in this. Like I thought I looked really good. I need a better bra, I'll say that. Um, but I thought I looked really cute in this. Um, so maybe I was thinking my friend Curtis is getting married in... April. Um, wearing this with like a oversized blazer. It's a gay wedding and it's gonna be like insane. So I'm like, yeah, a little bit of a seat through dress. Like it's not gonna be cuckoo bananas for me to wear it to this wedding. So it's an option. We will see. Um, or maybe even like a, this would be good for like a concert or something. So it's not what I expected, but it's also not like, oh, I can never wear this. And I know like holding it up, I'm like, oh, this looks like lingerie. Once it was on, it was very opaque. So don't think I'm coming to a gay man's wedding looking see-through. <laughs> um, Size-wise, what are you? Can't find my size tag, but I will search through my old emails and leave everything in the description box. All right back to Amazon and I will remain on Amazon till the end for that sweater and skirt combo I so desperately want to have. Um, I saw another, someone on Instagram, I should really remember people's names. She linked this sweater and it had a bunch of other, you know, striped or plain designs. And I was like, okay, let me get one, see how I like it. And then, you know, maybe go for the other ones. I love this sweater. During the try-on, I did get something on it. So yeah, there's I've already gotten a stain on it. So please let me know. I think it's ink. I don't know. Please let me know laundry hacks because I'm a giant baby. Um, but once I get this stain out, game over. This is going to be probably my most worn, like, casual item. This is so cute, so soft, very stretchy. Um, I got this in an XL. And I think it's, like, the perfect size. Like, I didn't feel like it was, like, overly big, which makes me feel like a frump lump um and it also wasn't like too tight of a sweater have you ever had that very unpleasant feeling again i intend on wearing this either tucked in or maybe folded up but this untucked and with jeans is gonna look so cute very maxi green um and then this also is thin enough to tuck but not so thin that you're gonna be cold like this is very well constructed i can't stop doing this it's so soft so i'm very very happy with this so now that i know the fit and the look I'll probably get maybe like a plain black in this, but they also had like black with white stripes. Like there was a few other color and design ways with this, um, but the fit is perfect. I do have to point out, um, it has like the exposed seams. Cause for a second I was like, is this inside out? But then I looked on the picture online and it's supposed to have like this three dimensional seaming here. So just so you're like, what did I order? It's supposed to be like that. Also, don't be afraid of horizontal stripes. Like we all know we're fat. We're not fooling anyone and making ourselves look bigger. Um, I think this looks so cute. So very, very happy with this. Okay, next, just a simple black mock neck bodysuit. That was a tongue twister. Since I tend to lean for skirts more, I feel like bodysuits are my best option for tops. Also, I've already gotten makeup on it. I am a mess, but whatever um so simple black plain mock neck i don't think i have any mock neck bodysuits i might but like i did get a ton from abercrombie recently but those are all like square neck or sweetheart neck so something just to keep me a little bit more covered i did look like the rock you know that like famous teenage picture of him um or steve jobs um but i think that's par for the course when you have a black mock neck on but this is going to be so versatile just grab it wear it with literally anything i do my skirts but i also have a ton of pinafores overalls like this is going to be that layering piece um i feel like the fit was great throughout and i did feel like it snatched me in a little bit without being like uncomfortable um i did have a little trouble maybe because these just aren't long um 
getting me meeting the buttons once it was like in line it buttoned easily and it didn't feel like it was gonna pop off at any second um but i do wish the crotch part i guess was longer so maybe next time i order this i'll size up here i didn't feel like it was like tight but i think just for buttoning purposes i'll probably size up next time also i do want to point out this is a thinner material i don't think it's see-through or anything but it's also not going to be like compression or anything like the abercrombie ones are thick and compress you a little bit um this is just a very easy jersey fabric okay another skirt because i was like okay that one's just kind of like plain simple down um let's get a little not heavily pleated but a little flouncier skirt this one has built-in shorts i really like how this looked on me i think a pleated flouncy skirt is so cute it's more a-line it's not calling attention to anything it just like reminds me of my cheerleading days so i think these are super cute um i got this in a 2x i believe that was a size yeah 2xl from the brand djt um the shorts inside are a little too short on me like i know that's gonna bother me chub rub wise so that's my only takeaway from this so again i'm still learning amazon and all these you know different vendors um so now i know for next time but the skirt in itself is great i love how it looks i think the length is cute again you're not gonna wear this to work but like to a concert very cute um it's just like the inside shorts weren't great for me um but they weren't like bad i wasn't like i need to get these off right now i was just like i can see this might be a problem if i wear this all day long you know but very stretchy waistband, very cute movement. I'm very happy with it. I think it looked really cute with the sweater I had it on with. Just very cute all around. Okay, finally, um, this is me just replacing something that I lost during my travels. Actually, I think I just left it at my brother's in San Diego. So I have a bunch of travel duffel bags. There's actually one two feet away from me right over here. Um, and I have like the nice, like, $100 Cal Pack ones. I have two of those. But when I went on my cruise last year, my mom was like, oh, take this. You could fit so much in it. And it then collapses like very small when you don't need it. Like that's tiny. Um, <laughs> I think my mom and her friend shared a bag on like Spirit or what's even cheaper than Spirit Airlines. They went somewhere and they both shared a bag like this big and they both fit everything they needed in it. And my mom is an overpacker and so is her friend Nico. So I don't know how they did it, but they did it and they used this bag. Um, but yeah, because there isn't so much structure in here, you can truly pack this to the brims with like weird shaped things. Um, but yeah, I brought this on my cruise. I brought this to camp. I brought it to California. There is so much room in here and then things unzip and you can make it bigger. Like down here, I think there's a whole shoe section down here if you unzip this. Like it just keeps getting bigger. And also, even at its fullest, fits under the seat in front of you. Like this is the go to travel bag. Also, I think it's only 20 bucks, maybe less than that. Um, so, yes, while I have two nice cow pack ones, like this is the one I reach for the most. And since I left it across the country, I had to replace it. I was actually going to make a video of like things I don't need to buy in 2024 and travel bags are one of them because like I said, within three feet of me right now, I can grab three. So like I have a lot and then I have the two cow packs in the other room. Like I have a lot, but this is more so replacing the one that I don't have anymore. So after this, I'm not buying more travel bags. Um, if you would like to see a video of things I won't buy, let me know. I've been watching a lot of those and it seems very like minimalist and I am a maximalist, but like if it can help someone like save money, give them ideas, you know, I think that'd be a fun video. So if you want to see a video like that, let me know because I got nothing in my brain. Also nothing on the way shopping wise, unless I do my Shein order today. So I got to fill that content void somehow. Anyways, everything I mentioned in this video will be linked down below with the sizes once I look them up. I think I still have a Shein code, so I will leave that down below so it'll give you an additional discount on top of the already great prices. But like I said, unless I do my Shein order tonight, I don't have any clothes coming in. So if there's anywhere you wanna see a video from, let me know, um, or styling videos, if I can, <laughs> my room is such a mess. Like I don't even know where most of my clothes are got to declutter and sell on Poshmark. So also like my Poshmark, I'll be adding new things throughout the weekend. So if you go today and there's nothing you like, wait till Sunday. I will be updating all weekend. Um, yeah, it's been a while. I took the holidays off and I was like, mm, January. Then I got sick. Um, and then it's work. I'm an accountant. We got month end clothes, quarter clothes, and year end clothes 
all in the same two weeks. So it's been a little hectic, but I'm calming down. We've rearranged the room. I feel brand new. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for waiting and being patient with me. Um, and I will see you soon if I can think of a video to post. Bye.